Okay. Y'all ready? Everybody ready? Um, I, I won't begin at any particular spot. Let me, let me just start with... Uh, uh, I, I don't see it. Where's Gina Smith? Not here. Not here? Okay. I had a conversation with Gina Smith uh, this morning when I arrived in Atlanta. And uh, I, I told her about uh, my love of the Appalachian Trail. I uh, used to organize uh, hiking trips. Actually, when I was in high school, I would get a soccer coach or a football coach to act as chaperone, and then I'd get folks to pay me 60 bucks each or whatever it was uh, to take the trip, and then um, uh, off we'd go uh, and have these great adventures on the Appalachian Trail. Um, and I told her of uh, adventure trips, uh, both in college. I was a campus representative for Eastern Airlines and could fly free, which meant I'd fly a different places around the world, get myself a job, carry $100 emergency money, and either find a job there with the locals and come back or uh, uh, come on home. Um, told about my years in Congress and early years in the governorship of, of different adventure trips of leaving and uh, traveling different places because what I have found in this job is that one desperately needs a break from the bubble. Uh, we're in every word, every uh, moment is recorded uh, just to completely break and I've found that to be true in trips to the farm or in trips uh, other places further afield. And all of those things were true. Um, I talked about the profound frustrations that I felt over this last uh, legislative session in the battle that was uh, in place with regard to the stimulus package, uh, the $700 million in play, and how at an emotional level I found it exhausting. Um, I tried to make as good a stand as I could, uh, not for a further political office. And what was interesting was always viewed, if you're doing this to climb some further political office, it was always based on that idea that I genuinely believe that that action would be bad for the taxpayers and um, made the stand as, as I did. So all those things we talked about this morning were true, um, but they're not the whole story. And that's obviously why everybody is gathered here right now. And so let me lay out that larger story that has attracted so many of you all here. I'm a bottom line kind of, kind of guy. I'll lay it out. Uh, it's going to hurt. Um, and we'll let the chips fall where they may. Um, in so doing, let me first of all apologize to my wife, Jenny and our four boy, uh, great boys, Marshall, Landon, Bolton, and Blake, for letting them down. Um, one of the primary roles well before being a governor is being a father to those four boys who are absolute jewels and blessings that I've let down in a profound way. And I apologize to them. Um, and I don't like apologizing in this realm, but given the immediacy of y'all's wanting to visit, and my proximity to them, this is the first step in what will be a very long process on that front. I would secondly say uh, to Jenny, uh, anybody who has observed her over the last uh, 20 years of my life knows how closely she has stood by my side in campaign after campaign after campaign and literally being my campaign manager and in the raising of those four boys and in a whole host of other things uh, throughout the lives that we built together. I would also apologize to my staff because as much as I did talk about going to the Appalachian Trail, that was one of the original scenarios that I thrown out to Mary Neal, that is where I ended up. And so I let them down by creating a fiction with regard to where I was going, which means that I then in turn, given as much as they relied on that information, let down people that I represent across the state. And so I want to apologize to my staff, and I want to apologize to anybody who lives in all kinds of folks living in their campaign. And he gave up his time, talent, and his effort for ideas that he 